Tian, Tian is one of the oldest Chinese terms for heaven and a key concept in Chinese mythology, philosophy, and religion. During the Shang dynasty 17 -th centuries BCE, the Chinese referred to their supreme god as Shangdi, Shangdi Lord on High or Di, Di Lord. During the following Zhou dynasty, Tian became synonymous with this figure. Heaven worship was, before the 20th century, an orthodox state religion of China. In Taoism and Confucianism, Tian, the celestial aspect of the cosmos, often translated as heaven, is mentioned in relationship to its complementary aspect of Di, De often translated as earth. These two aspects of Taoist cosmology are representative of the dualistic nature of Taoism. They are thought to maintain the two poles of the three realms, San Jia of reality, with the middle realm occupied by humanity, Ren Ren, and the lower world occupied by demons, Mo Mo, and ghosts, Gui Gui. Topic characters The modern Chinese character Tian and early seal script both combine Da Da great, large, and Yi Yi one, but some of the original characters in Shang Oracle Bone script and Zhou Bronzeware script anthropomorphically portray a large head on a great person. The ancient oracle and bronze ideograms for Da Da depict a stick figure person with arms stretched out denoting great, large. The oracle and bronze characters for Tian Tian emphasize the cranium of this great person, either with a square or round head, or head marked with one or two lines. Schusler notes the bronze graphs for Tian, showing a person with a round head, resemble those for Ding Ding fourth celestial stem, and suggests the anthropomorphic graph may or may not indicate that the original meaning was deity, rather than sky. Two variant Chinese characters for Tian Tian heaven are Er Ren written with Er Er two, and Ren Ren human, and the Taoist coinage Tian with Ching Ching blue and Qi Qi, i.e., blue sky. Topic pronunciations The modern standard Chinese pronunciation of Tian sky, heaven, heavenly deity, God is Tian in level first tone. The character is read as Cantonese Tin 1, Taiwanese Thin 1 or Thian 1, Vietnamese Yu or Thien, Korean Qian or Qin, Qian and Japanese Ten in Aniomi borrowed Chinese reading and Aim or Sora in Kuniomi native Japanese reading. Tian Tian reconstructions in Middle Chinese ca. 6th-10th centuries CE include Tian Bernhard Karlgren, Tan Joe Fago, T N greater than T Ian Edwin G Pulleyblank, and then William H Baxter, Baxter and Sagart. Reconstructions in Old Chinese ca. 6th-3rd centuries BCE include asterisk Tian Karlgren, asterisk Tien Joe, asterisk Halin Baxter, asterisk Thin Schusler, and asterisk L In Baxter and Sagart. Topic. Etymologies For the etymology of Tien, Schusler links it with the Mongolian word Tengri sky, heaven, heavenly deity, or the Tibeto-Burman words tail and Talaya both meaning sky. Schusler also suggests a likely connection between Chinese Tien Tien, Dian Dian, summit, mountaintop and Dian Dian, summit, top of the head, forehead, which have cognates such as Naga T, sky. Topic. Compounds Tian is one of the components in hundreds of Chinese compounds. Some significant ones include Tianming, Tianming mandate of heaven, divine mandate, God's will, fate, destiny, one's lifespan. Tianwen traditional Chinese, Tianwen simplified Chinese, Tianwen pinyin, Tianwen, the heavenly question section of the Chu Si Tianzi, Tianzi, son of heaven, an honorific designation for the emperor, Chinese sovereign. Tianzi accounts for 28 of the 140 Tian occurrences in the Shi Jing above. Tianzhe, Tian Sha Lit, all under heaven. The world, earth, China. Tiandi, Tian De Lit. Heaven and Earth. The World, the Universe. These hanzi are pronounced tenchi in Japanese. Xingtian, Xingtian an early mythological hero who fought against heaven, despite being decapitated. Tianfang, Tianfang Chinese name for Mecca, the Islamic holy city. Tian is used as translation of Allah. Topic. Chinese interpretations Confucius 
The concept of heaven tien, tien is pervasive in Confucianism. Confucius had a deep trust in heaven and believed that heaven overruled human efforts. He also believed that he was carrying out the will of heaven, and that heaven would not allow its servant, Confucius, to be killed until his work was done. Many attributes of heaven were delineated in his Analects. Confucius honored heaven as the supreme source of goodness. The Master said, Great indeed was Yao as a sovereign. How majestic was he! It is only heaven that is grand, and only Yao corresponded to it. How vast was his virtue! The people could find no name for it. How majestic was he in the works which he accomplished! How glorious in the elegant regulations which he instituted! 8. Xix. Tr. Leg 1893-214 Confucius felt himself personally dependent upon heaven v. XXVIII, tr. Leg 1893-193 Wherein I have done improperly, may heaven reject me, may heaven reject me. Confucius believed that heaven cannot be deceived. The master being very ill, Zi Lu wished the disciples to act as ministers to him. During a remission of his illness, he said, Long has the conduct of you been deceitful. By pretending to have ministers when I have them not, whom should I impose upon? Should I impose upon heaven? Moreover, than that I should die in the hands of ministers, is it not better that I should die in the hands of you, my disciples? And though I may not get a great burial, shall I die upon the road? Ix, she, tr. Leg 1893-220-221 Confucius believed that heaven gives people tasks to perform to teach them of virtues and morality. The master said, At fifteen, I had my mind bent on learning. At thirty, I stood firm. At forty, I had no doubts. At fifty, I knew the decrees of heaven. At sixty, my ear was an obedient organ for the reception of truth. At seventy, I could follow what my heart desired, without transgressing what was right. 2. IV, TR. Leg 1893-146 He believed that heaven knew what he was doing and approved of him, even though none of the rulers on earth might want him as a guide. The master said, Alas, there is no one that knows me. Zi Gong said, What do you mean by thus saying, that no one knows you? The master replied, I do not murmur against heaven. I do not grumble against men. My studies lie low, and my penetration rises high. But there is heaven, that knows me. 14. XXXV, TR. Leg 1893-288-9 Perhaps the most remarkable saying, recorded twice, is one in which Confucius expresses complete trust in the overruling providence of heaven. The master was put in fear in Kuang. He said, After the death of King Wen, was not the cause of truth lodged here in me? If heaven had wished to let this cause of truth perish, then I, a future mortal, should not have got such a relation to that cause. While heaven does not let the cause of truth perish, what can the people of Kuang do to me? X, V and 7, XXII, TR. Leg 1893-217-8 Topic. Mosi For Mosi, heaven is the divine ruler, just as the Son of Heaven is the earthly ruler. Mosi believed that spirits and minor demons and spirits exist or at least rituals should be performed as if they did for social reasons, but their function is to carry out the will of heaven, watching for evil doers and punishing them. Mosi taught that heaven loves all people equally and that each person should similarly love all human beings without distinguishing between his own relatives and those of others. Dubs, 1959-1960-163-172. Mosi criticized the Confucians of his own time for not following the teachings of Confucius. In Mosi's Will of Heaven, TNG he writes, Moreover, I know heaven loves men dearly not without reason. Heaven ordered the sun, the moon, and the stars to enlighten and guide them. Heaven ordained the four seasons, spring, autumn, winter, and summer, to regulate them. Heaven sent down snow, frost, rain, and dew to grow the five grains and flax and silk that so the people could use and enjoy them. 
Heaven established the hills and rivers, ravines and valleys, and arranged many things to minister to man's good or bring him evil. He appointed the dukes and lords to reward the virtuous and punish the wicked, and to gather metal and wood, birds and beasts, and to engage in cultivating the five grains and flax and silk to provide for the people's food and clothing. This has been so from antiquity to the present. Tr. May 1929-145 Topic. Schools of cosmology There are three major schools on cosmology. Most other hypotheses were developed from them. Gaetian Shuo, Gai Tian Zhuo, Canopy Heavens Hypothesis, originated from the text Zobi Suanjing. The Earth is covered by a material Tian. Huntian Shuo, Hun Tian Zhuo, Egg like hypothesis. The Earth surrounded by a Tian sphere rotating over it. The celestial bodies are attached to the Tian sphere. See Zhang Heng section Astronomy and Mathematics, Chinese Creation Myth. Zanye Shuo, Zan Yi Huo, Firmament Hypothesis. The Tian is an infinite space. The celestial bodies were light matters floating on it moved by Qi. A summary by Ji Meng Shi Men is in the astronomical chapters of the Book of Jin. Sometimes the sky is divided into Jushan, Judian, the nine sky divisions. The middle sky and the eight directions. Topic: <inaudible> Buddhism. The Tian are the heaven worlds and pure lands in Buddhist cosmology. Some devas are also called Tian. Topic: <inaudible> Taoism. The number of vertical heaven layers in Taoism is different, the most common saying is the 36 Tian developed from Du Renjing Du Renjing I Quan Dao In I Quan Dao, Tian are divided into three vertical worlds. Li Tian, Li Tian Heaven of Truth, Qi Tian, Qi Tian Heaven of Spirit, and Shang Tian, Shang Tian Heaven of Matter. Topic. Meanings The semantics of Tian developed diachronically. The Hanyu Daizidian, an historical dictionary of Chinese characters, lists 17 meanings of Tian Tian, translated below. Human forehead, head, cranium. Ren de a bu nao dai. Anciently, to tattoo, brand the forehead as a kind of punishment. Gu dai yi zhang zai a tu shang si zi de xing fa. The heavens, the sky, the firmament. Tian Kong. Celestial bodies, celestial phenomena, meteorological phenomena. Tian Ti Tian Shang. Nature, natural. A general reference to objective inevitability beyond human will. Ziran Fan Ji Bu Yi Ren Yi Ji Wei Zuan Yi Dekei Guan Bai Ran Xing. Natural, innate, instinctive, inborn. Ziran De Tian Xing De. Natural character, quality of a person or thing, natural instinct, inborn nature, disposition. Ren Huo Wu De Zi Ran Xing Ji Tian Xing. A reference to a particular sky, space. Te Ji Mo Yi Kong Jia. Season, seasons. Like, winter, the three hot ten day periods following the summer solstice. Shi Ling Ji Jie. Ru Dong Tian San Fu Tian. Weather, climate. Tian Chi Chi Hu. Day, time of one day and night, or especially the time from sunrise to sunset. Like, today, yesterday, busy all day, go fishing for three days and dry the nets for two a Zaihuyu simile for, unable to finish anything. Yi Zhou Yi De Shi Jian Huo Zuan Ji Ri Chu Dao Ri Luo De Shi Jian. Ru Jin Tian Zuo Tian Mang Le Yi Tian San Tian Da Yu Liang Tian Shai Wang. God, heaven, celestial spirit, of the natural world. Tian Shen Shang Di Zi Ran Jia De Zu Zai Jie. Heaven, heavenly, a superstitious person's reference to the gods, Buddhas, or immortals, or to the worlds where they live. Like, go to heaven. Die. Heavenly troops and heavenly generals. Invincible army. Heavenly goddesses scatter blossoms of Vimalakirti Sutra reference to Buddha's arrival. Mi Shin de Ren Ji Shane Fu Xian Ren Huo Ta Men Shang Huo de Na Ge Shi Jia. Ru Gui Tian Tian Bing Tian Zhang Tian Nu San Hua. Anciently, the king, monarch, sovereign, also referring to elders in human relationships. Gu Dai Ji Jun Wang Yi Ji Ren Lun Zhang De Zun Jie. Object upon which one depends or relies. 
Suo yi kun huo yi kao de dui shang. Dialect. A measure of land shang, about 15 acres. Fang ya shang. A family name, surname. Xing. The Chinese philosopher Feng Yulin differentiates five different meanings of tian in early Chinese writings. One, a material or physical tian or sky, that is, the tian often spoken of in apposition to earth, as in the common phrase which refers to the physical universe as heaven and earth tian ti tienda. Two, a ruling or presiding tian, that is, one such as is meant in the phrase, imperial heaven supreme emperor huang tian shang ti, in which anthropomorphic tian and ti are signified. 3. A fatalistic tian, equivalent to the concept of fate ming ming, a term applied to all those events in human life over which man himself has no control. This is the tian Mencius refers to when he says, As to the accomplishment of a great deed, that is with tian. Mencius, Ib. 14. 4. A naturalistic tian, that is, one equivalent to the English word nature. This is the sort of tian described in the discussion on tian in the Sun Tzu ch. 17. 5. An ethical tian, that is, one having a moral principle and which is the highest primordial principle of the universe. This is the sort of tian which the Cheng Yang doctrine of the mean refers to in its opening sentence when it says, What tian confers on man is called his nature. 1952-31. The Oxford English Dictionary enters the English loanword tian, also tian, 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 and tian. Chinese thought, heaven, the deity. The earliest recorded usages for these spelling variants are, 1613 tain, 1710 tian, 1747 trillion yen, and 1878 tian. Topic. Interpretation by Western Sinologists The Sinologist Hurley Creel, who wrote a comprehensive study on the origin of the deity tian, 1970-493-506, gives this overview. For 3,000 years it has been believed that from time immemorial all Chinese revered Tian Tian, heaven, as the highest deity, and that this same deity was also known as Td or Shang Ti Shang Di. But the new materials that have become available in the present century, and especially the Shang inscriptions, make it evident that this was not the case. It appears rather that Tian is not named at all in the Shang inscriptions, which instead refer with great frequency to Ti or Shang Ti. Tian appears only with the Cho, and was apparently a Cho deity. After the conquest the Cho considered Tian to be identical with the Shang deity Ti or Shang Ti, much as the Romans identified the Greek Zeus with their Jupiter, 1970-493. Creel refers to the historical shift in ancient Chinese names for God from Shang oracles that frequently used Di and Shangdi and rarely used Tian to Zhou bronzes and texts that used Tian more frequently than its synonym Shangdi. First, Creel analyzes all the Tian and Di occurrences meaning God, Gods, in Western Zhou-era Chinese classic texts and bronze inscriptions. The Yi Jing, classic of changes, has two Tian and one Di, the Shi Jing, classic of poetry has 140 Tian and 43 Di or Shangdi, and the authentic portions of the Shu Jing, classic of documents, have 116 Tian and 25 Di or Shangdi. His corpus of authenticated Western Zhou bronzes 1970-464-75 mentioned Tian 91 times and Di or Shangdi only four times. Second, Creel contrasts the disparity between 175 occurrences of Di or Shangdi on Shang era oracle inscriptions with at least 26 occurrences of Tian. Upon examining these 26 oracle scripts that scholars like Guo Moruo have identified as Tian Tian, Heaven, God, 1970-494-5, he rules out eight cases in fragments where the contextual meaning is unclear. Of the remaining 18, Creel interprets 11 cases as graphic variants for Da. Great, large, big. E.g. Tian I Shang Tian Yi Shang for Da I Shang Da Yi Shang. Great Settlement Shang. Three is a place name, and four cases of oracles recording sacrifices Utn Utn. Two, at Tian. Which could mean, to heaven, God. Or, at a place called Tian. The Shu Jing chapter. Tang Shi. Tang Shi, Tang speech, illustrates how early Zhou texts used Tian, heaven, God, in contexts with Shangdi, God. 
According to tradition, Tang of Shang assembled his subjects to overthrow King Jia of Sha, the infamous last ruler of the Sha dynasty, but they were reluctant to attack. The king said, Come, ye multitudes of the people, listen all to my words. It is not I, the little child, a humble name used by kings, who dare to undertake what may seem to be a rebellious enterprise, but for the many crimes of the sovereign of Sha, Sha heaven has given the charge Tianming, see compounds below, to destroy him. Now, ye multitudes, you are saying, our prince does not compassionate us, but is calling us away from our husbandry to attack and punish the ruler of Sha. I have indeed heard these words of you all, but the sovereign of Sha is an offender, and, as I fear God Shangdi, I dare not but punish him. Now you are saying, what are the crimes of Sha to us? The king of Sha does nothing but exhaust the strength of his people, and exercise oppression in the cities of Sha. His people have all become idle in his service, and will not assist him. They are saying, when will this sun expire? We will all perish with thee, such is the course of the sovereign of Shah, and now I must go and punish him. Assist, I pray you, me, the one man, to carry out the punishment appointed by heaven I will greatly reward you. On no account disbelieve me. I will not eat my words. If you do not obey the words which I have spoken to you, I will put your children with you to death. You shall find no forgiveness. Tr. James Leg 1865-173-5 Having established that Tian was not a deity of the Shang people, Creel 1970-501-6 proposes a hypothesis for how it originated. Both the Shang and Zhou peoples pictographically represented Da Da as a large or great man. The Zhou subsequently added a head on him to denote Tian Tian meaning King, Kings, Cf. Wang Wang, King, Ruler, which had oracle graphs picturing a line under a great person and bronze graphs that added the top line. From Kings, Tian was semantically extended to mean dead kings, ancestral kings, who controlled fate, providence and ultimately a single omnipotent deity Tian heaven. In addition, Tian named both the heavens, where ancestral kings and gods supposedly lived, and the visible sky. Another possibility is that Tian may be related to Tengri and possibly was a loan word from a prehistoric Central Asian language Muller 1870. Topic. See also Amanamanakanushi Chinese folk religion Chinese rights controversy Hainalim Hong Jun Laozu Names of God Names of God in China Religion in China Shen Taiyi Tianzhen Dao Tiananmen Tian Heaven Shangdi God Tian Sha All under Heaven Tian Chao Dynasty of Heaven Tian Qihan, Khan of Heaven. Tian Ming, Mandate of Heaven. Tian Zi, Son of Heaven. Tianzu. Tianzu Jiaotu. Topic. References. Topic. Citations. Topic. Sources. Baxter, William and Lauren Sagart, 2011. Baxter Sagart Old Chinese Reconstruction. Chong, Ruth H. 2000. Understanding D and Tian, Deity and Heaven from Shang to Tang. Sino Platonic Papers 108 1 54. Creel, Hurley G., 1970. The Origins of Statecraft in China. The University of Chicago Press. ISBN 0 226 12043 0. Dubs, Homer H. 1959 1960. Theism and Naturalism in Ancient Chinese Philosophy. Philosophy East and West. 9.3 4 163 172. Feng Yu Lan, 1952. A History of Chinese Philosophy, Vol. I. The Period of the Philosophers, Tr. Dirk Body. Princeton University Press. Leg, James, T.R. 1865. The Chinese Classics, Vol. 
3. The Shoe King. Oxford University Press. Legg, James, T. R. 1893. The Chinese Classics, Vol. I. The Confucian Analects, The Great Learning, and the Doctrine of the Mean. Oxford University Press. Muller, Friedrich Max, 1870. Lectures on the Science of Religion. Schusler, Axel, 2007. ABC Etymological Dictionary of Old Chinese. University of Hawaii Press. Topic. External links Oracle, Bronze, and Seal Characters for Tien, Richard Sears.